All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Skunk Works Moon Bus mod, which is being made by forum user Stinky Ace. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a somewhat kerbalized recreation of the Rocket Moon Bus from the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. And I am a big fan of that movie, and in general, I really like sort of uh, retro rocket designs so I've been having a lot of fun with this thing so let's jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get now let's turn on our mod filter and uh, have a look at the three parts that do make up this mod so gonna be kind of a short video here today but let's grab the first and arguably most important part of the moon bus transporter mark 2 which is glorious now, as for the modeling on this thing, it is beautiful and really spot on. If you look at some pictures from the movie, it looks really good and very, very close to what you got there. And I especially do love all the detailing down here on the skids. A lot of work went on down here and it just looks amazing for it. Now, texture wise, it does look quite close to the movie, but personally, I would prefer it since we are in this game to be a bit more kerbalized but all in all though it works quite nicely for what it is and I really really do appreciate all the work that has gone into this thing it's pretty darn cool now stat wise it is a moon bus so it is gonna hold a lot of kerbals in fact a total crew capacity of 10 with a minimum of two crew members to operate and besides that it has a built-in data transmitter a number of generators will come back to in a moment a reaction wheel 500 electric charge, 500 liquid fuel, 500 monopropellant, and 500 oxidizer. Now, as for those generators, well, oh, this ship is a tiny bit cheaty. And by a tiny bit, I mean this thing will never run out of fuel, ever. Ever. It's impossible. <laughs> I was running this thing earlier on full blast with all engines going. I didn't make a dent in the fuel for this thing in the slightest. But considering it's, you know, a remake of a uh, ship from a movie, I'm kind of okay with that because it's not one of those things you're going to put into your career mode game. This is one of those mods you download just to mess around and have a bit of fun with. And so, yeah, they, they are very cheaty generators producing a thousand uh, oxidizer per second, a hundred monopropellant per second, ten electric charge per second, and then a thousand liquid fuel per second. This thing, yeah, will never ever run out of fuel. Uh, so yeah, a little bit cheaty, just keep that in mind. Now the final two parts that we do have here are in the engines category, and the first is the Moonbus Mark II nuclear engines, which are extraordinarily powerful, producing a maximum of a 3100 100 kilonewtons of thrust using liquid fuel and oxidizer and having uh, two degrees of vectoring range on them which is always good and they do of course a hit back here on the ship and are your main drive engines now the next engines we have is the moon bus mark II nuclear engine lift which again will produce 3100 kilonewtons of thrust using liquid fuel and oxidizer and these ones well, they go on the bottom. They're meant for, you know, takeoff and landing. And both of them uh, go off of an internal attachment node for the parts. So as you can see there, we have that central point and just popping in right there. And uh, yeah, that is it for the parts. A pretty cheaty but awesome reproduction of the rocket moon bus with some seriously powerful engines. This thing on its own can quite easily get from this planet to the moon uh, very easily. So let's load up one of these crafts earlier that I added some uh, action groups to and uh, take it off from the runway just to show you how amazingly wonderful it is. Now if I throttle this thing all the way down when we do get outside, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see very quickly. Now let's activate our engines and I'm going to turn off the main engines there and let's just take a glorious look at the whole thing now sadly there is not an interior i'm hoping one comes down the road i would especially love to see an interior in the back for all the kerbals in the you know main part of the bus but for now you'll just have to use your imagination and uh 
take off. Oh yeah, I already did activate the engines, didn't I? So throttle up, there we go, and already lift off with barely any thrust whatsoever. <laughs> Look at that. We're, oh boy, we're like maybe, maybe 10% and we're already going quite nicely. Now if we throttle all the way up, Look at us go! We are, oh boy, we are easily going to make it into space on just those engines. But let's uh, turn those off and activate the uh, rear engines. And now we are away. And uh, yeah, kind of cheaty with its uh, resource production. Insanely powerful engines. But again, as a recreation of a ship from an amazing movie, and just a cool retro rocket design. Why would you not want to have fun with this? It's just a cool thing. And uh, yeah, so if you would like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!